This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Kidney failure. We have two kidneys, but we can live a normal life just with one kidney too. But what if both the kidneys don't function properly due to kidney failure? This will lead to a build-up the toxic substances in the blood and body. Eventually, it leads to death. Kidney failure can occur due to an infection or injury. When both kidneys fail, there are two methods to help a person survive. The first treatment is dialysis. Dialysis is a blood purifying treatment. A dialysis machine acts as an artificial kidney. It filters the blood outside the body. The second treatment is a kidney transplant which replaces the old kidney with a new one. Dialysis The dialysis machine acts as an artificial kidney and filters the blood. Blood is carried outside the body through tubes, into the machine where it is filtered, and then moved back into the body. The machine is connected with the blood vessels present in the patient's arm. The blood moves out of this vessel into the machine where it is first mixed with anticoagulants. Anticoagulants are necessary to avoid clotting of the blood. The machine contains a clean dialysis fluid that is separated from the unfiltered blood with a partially semi-permeable membrane. Through this membrane, all the toxic and waste substances such as urea move out from the unfiltered blood and go into the dialysis fluid. Once the blood gets filtered, it is then carried back to the blood vessels in the arm. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps or go to our website, hollow12.com. While learning about the dialysis process, we came across the word dialysis fluid. This is a fluid that acts as a replacement for the blood plasma present in our body near the kidney tubules. It does not contain urea so that it can be removed from the unfiltered blood. Also, the concentration of glucose and helpful mineral ions is just like that seen in normal plasma so, the levels can be maintained in the blood that is sent back to the body. This process is very helpful as it helps in filtering the blood. It also reduces the amount of urea in the blood so prevents its buildup. Finally, it helps to keep the concentration of glucose and ions normal. However, it has some disadvantages too. First, it needs a specialized and expensive machine, plus, it is a time-consuming process. Also, this filtering is needed many times a week and has to be performed throughout life. Kidney transplant. To overcome the disadvantages of dialysis, a kidney transplant may be an alternative option. In this process, a new kidney is taken from a donor and placed in the person's body. This is a permanent solution to kidney failure, as the replacement can be done at once. Also, the diet of the recipient is less restrictive than a person who is on dialysis. Also, as it is a one-time process, it is less expensive. But, it still has some disadvantages. As an organ is taken from another individual, rejection may occur due to the immune system of the recipient. To prevent this rejection, immunosuppressant drugs are given to the patients for a lifetime that prevents their immune system from attacking the new kidney. However, these drugs reduce their overall immunity and make them prone to infections. Also, a donor is not always available and the waiting period can be long. Go to our website, hollow12.com to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.